<laughs> Especially with how many fishes we could draw. Alright, hey, we are we are now live. Let's go. What's, what's up everybody? Hey everyone, uh I am Telia One and joined with me. Tetsuo Very nice. Tetsuo and I we go way back. We're good buddies. We've been friends for a while. And uh, we, we've uh, played a couple co-op games together, and now we're going to be in the grudge match of the century here playing Mark Davis's The Fishing Master. Uh, this is a, a super, obviously a Super Nintendo fishing game that's based off of the legendary Mark Davis, uh, the first, uh, the first like, guy to get Bass Master of the Year and Angler of the Year. He got a whole game named after him. <laughs> Um, we're going to be doing this category called Fishing Master, which is going to mean that we're, the goal of this category is to beat and is to win every single tournament in the, in the game. Um, now because, uh, because of RNG and because this is a marathon, we might get first or second or third, and if we do, we'll just keep on going. No, no big deal. But the goal of this category is to beat all of the, all of the tournaments and uh, make it all the way through the championship. And I guess we could talk more about it when we go. Do you want to just start, dude? Yeah, I'm ready to do this, dude. All right. Um, let's. We'll go. We'll go on. We'll go on fish. Okay. It'll be. It'll be three, two, one, fish. Okay. All right. All want right. me to do it? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, fish. 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 Nice. All right. So. The first thing we're gonna do is... Oh, I had to repeat the rules. I had to repeat the rules. GG, dude. The first thing we're gonna do is buy some equipment. Um, this is gonna help us... Uh, with weather, basically. Um, in the game, there's random weather that can, uh, affect how long you have to catch a fish. Uh, if you don't have the proper weather gear, you only have nine frames to catch a fish. Which is not a lot. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go to our spring spot, get our line in the water, and see if we can get some lunkers. Let's go, dude. Alright, I already got an empty cast. Let's go. Okay. I got the top uh, top spawn. Nice. I got an empty cast and I got the bottom spawn. So so these these uh, fish are gonna be we know we know where all of these fish are. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna know exactly where they are. Uh, there, there's in, they're all in certain spots called, so we call them the strike zone. Yep. Where all I these fish, fish are gonna be, way. oh, you dropped a fish? Oh no. So, so you're gonna be seeing us, uh, enter and exit the screen, because you can only catch two lunkers, uh, if, unless you exit and enter the screen. Uh, so after we catch one or two, we're gonna be exiting and entering the screen to get uh to get an extra fish here and uh i'm pretty sure unless we have insane weight both of us are going to go for four fish here in, in uh in spring in the spring tournament i definitely need to get a fourth one here yeah, so for that we definitely have to switch out to a different lure mm -hmm. uh, each lure kind of has like a lure rating uh that's gonna oh okay that's gonna like kind of determine what kind of fish you can get so it's all been very scienced out, very, very scienced out, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm about to weigh in for day one, so looking good for me here. Still trying to get my fourth. Alright, alright, so it looks like I'm in the lead here, so I guess I could talk about what's going on here. We finish out our first tournament, as you see, we take the win here, and now we gotta move on to our next, uh, season, which is gonna be, uh, summer. Sorry, uh, Nicholas Cage stopped by and had to say what's up. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's a big he's a big fan of uh, fishing. Look, if you if you got an MGD, if you got if you got a nice you know bush light, you just crack it open and come on on the boat here and and see what we can get if we can get some fish together, okay? <laughs> so uh, the summer tournament is going to be two days. The the sp spring tournament is a one day tournament. Summer tournament is going to be a two day tournament, which means we got two days of fishing. You might be asking yourself, how come we're only catching three fish? Well, we want to catch the least amount of fish uh, as as possible, basically here. 
So the the current route. Oh, I draw. Oh no, it got away. <laughs> These slippery fishies, dude. Uh, there's a 1 in 16 chance of dropping the fish, by the way. And we're going to be catching quite a few fish today, so we will there's definitely be dropping some. There's a stat for that? Yeah, it's a 1 in 16 chance. Fred did the math. Wow, he did, shout, he, out, he, shout out to Fred. Yeah, Fred Fred, the fishing scientist. The man the man who, who broke into the code of the game and gave us all kinds of information. <laughs> so we know we now know that uh, dropping a fish is a one in sixteen chance, and every time the fish jumps out of the water, there is a three in sixteen chance that it will break the line. But I'm gonna weigh into my first day of uh, summer here. All right, all right. Looks like I'm in the lead. Looks good. Oh yeah, you are. All right, go to our summer spot. Now each each one of these uh, spots has kind of a like a rating attached to it, depending on what season we're in. And we've done we've done the math thanks to Fred's uh, science, and we know we kind of know where the good spots are. And and you know this is a pretty new run, so we've just figured out where all the good spots are basically. So if you guys are into yeah, fishing games. You discovered this uh, new summer spot, right? Yeah, this new summer spot is a new spot that is, in my opinion, I think it's slightly slower than the old summer spot, but for some reason it's more consistent, uh, it feels. Yeah, with uh, with actual fish uh, spawning, right? Yeah. I was watching Tetsuo play, stream this game, and then he dropped three fish in a row, to which he decided to play something else. Yep. <laughs> that, that is a classic, man. <laughs> All right, I'm, not, Smash TV. I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing great here. All right, we got our six fish. I'm going to weigh in for summer. We are, we are in there for summer for me. Let's see if we get the win. It's not a guarantee. All right, we got the win. Very nice. Well done, sir. So after summer, the next season comes fall. So this is actually the nicest, uh, the nicest um, season in my opinion. It's I got a small one, dude. Oh no! Uh, you got a dink? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. You're gonna have to switch to crank. Got... Yeah, yeah, I'd, yeah, yeah, I'd yeah, switch yeah. to crank bait. Yep. Yeah. Did I wonder how that happened? Oh. Uh. Well, isn't it like when you're holding real and then Oh yeah. The so there's also key. there's also a, a mechanic where if you're holding X and you press A to get the fish, uh, you lower your fishing rating by like two. So if you're yeah. a little if you're a little too too quick on that on that X press, then uh, you you get a smaller you get a what's called a dink. You get the dink, and no one wants the dink. We want the big lunkers. I want the dink. I won. Nice. All right, nice. GG. Yeah. All right, I'm done with my first day of fall here. That's nice. So we're gonna Crazy. weigh in. We're gonna weigh in for me. And this this fall location is just amazing. Like, there are so many fish that are hanging out by these big old uh, you know sticks here because that's where the bass just like to just like to chill, dude. Yeah, it's the it's a really nice spot here. Um, Nicholas Cage d has been seen here. Oh yeah, is that just, right? Yeah, yeah. Nicholas Cage is hanging on the bank. Okay. It's one of his like vacation spots. Okay. Okay. So you guys may see him. Just saying, that's RNG too. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's a zero in a hundred chance. Nice. Nice. There's maybe like a very small amount, like a fraction there. All right, so I'm rolling through here. I'm having a. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I'm having a pretty gosh darn lucky run right now. We are getting a lot of fish striking. There's a lot of fish out on the lake tonight for me. It's a. Be it's a beautiful day. It's the a. Be it's a beautiful day. It really it's is. All right, so I'm gonna switch here. Now that I got my three, we're gonna switch to our 
our top water plug, our little popper bait that likes to skim along the top of the, the, uh, the uh, lake here for your fishing aficionados. And we got the close fish. I saw and, what uh, you did there. And that's a good one. That's a good no, one. No, that, that was a good one that you just said. No nice. joke. Yeah. <laughs> Aficionado. Oh, man. I didn't even know what I was did doing. Did you just make that up? I think I did, man. Oh, I got second. No, Tetsuo. What happened? I what got second. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a big... Even with that's the a fourth. Big, that's even with the fourth, we got, we got the second. But that's fine. We're going to keep going. If this were a leaderboard PB attempt, we would be disqualified. But that's okay. We're gonna keep going here. <laughs> that sounds so extreme. Dude, we would be. We dude, would say, would "Get out of here, dude." DQ'd. I'm even gonna sit here for a second. Actually, I don't have to because I have the to. The warden like... would be like, "Listen, sir, I'm gonna have to ticket you for that." Yeah, we get we get like a 30 second time penalty on this one here because <laughs> I got second. I'm just gonna sit out here. Crack an MGD and just hang out for a few minutes. <sighs> so anyway, like as you can as you can see, we got we got second place because this game is very RNG based. But it's fine. We already discussed this. We're gonna keep it rolling. Yeah. No big deal. No big deal. Show must <laughs> go on. The mods would not allow that. That's true. The mod should be called the fish warden. The fish. Whatever. The fish warden, dude. Um, but yeah, so now, for me, I'm here in winter, uh, the fish are a little bit smaller here, and winter's gonna be a three-day tournament. Now, now we're, we're, we're on the three-day tournaments. Uh, spring and, uh, spring's a, a one-day, summer's a two-day, fall's a two-day, but once you get into winter, you got these long three-day tournaments coming up here. And, and winter has never looked so beautiful. Oh, it's great. There we go. So calm. Yeah, a nice little calm, little green, little green lake out here. A lot of little places where the bass like to just sit at the bottom, you know, in the little mud there. You know how it is. Oh yeah, dude. When's the last time you got on the lake out in IRL, Tetsuo? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a while. I used to live next to one. Uh, where I grew up, and uh, I uh, I dropped a fish. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you know, I dropped fish all the time at that lake, honestly. So I, you know, I don't like to talk about it. All right, I'm gonna lower. I was told to lower my mic a little bit in OBS, so I just lowered it just a tiny bit there. Oh, okay. And that's my day. That's my day one. My day one winter there. We're gonna go in and uh, weigh in. Hey, looks <clears> good. Looks good. Well done, dude. All right. And yeah, this is going to be a three-day tournament, so we're going to the same place all three days. <laughs> Pile is DTF, dude. Down to fish. Now that is what I like right. to see. That is what I like to talk about, man. No, I know Pile gets out on the lake in that little. He has a little kayak action, which is good. And I actually. Just watched a film recently about fishing called from the '90s. You remember "A River Runs Through It," starring Brad Pitt? Yeah. Yeah, man, that's they're they're fly fishermen out in Montana in that film. I have never tried fly fishing, but it looks very complicated. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Couldn't comment on that at all. <laughs> I've heard of it. That's the we, extent of my knowledge. Yeah. Alright, my day one's complete. Nice. I'm dragging a little bit, but it's okay. I'm having that's a nice. That's alright. We're having a nice. And and if you and if you won, you're technically winning because you won all the tournaments and I got second. So. <clears throat> alright, yeah. we're gonna go three three two here. I think this is my third one here. Very nice. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna weigh in here for uh, for day two for a little bit of fishing master. Okay. Could we uh, talk about the music? Oh man, the music in this game is actually has no right to be as good as it is. Like, it's so good actually. 
Oh man, but the one the one thing that, so there is like a Japanese version of this game. I don't know which one came first, but the one difference uh well there's a few differences in versions but in the japanese version the music like always plays in this version it kind of cuts out when you get in the water i don't I wonder why they made that decision i'm not really sure yeah it's a it was a poor uh executive decision there yeah maybe maybe the american the americans were like you can't be having music because this good it's yeah you, you're gonna scare the fishes off or some something like that I don't, I don't know. Alright, we're going for it. 3-3-2. Three, three, Let's see if we can get this big old uh, way in here. I'm on my third day. <laughs> nice, nice. Alright, we won big time. Alright, we won by like six okay. pounds. Alright. So winter two, winter is a is a double season here. It's still winter time, but we got to go to actually a different place now. Uh, <laughs> while it is still winter, it's kind of like not so wintry, or maybe more wintry or something. So we got to go to a different spot. But we're gonna keep our same lure, our California half ounce, or sorry, our Carolina half ounce with a eight with a what is it like a a three point five inch green green worm straight worm there yeah now i don't know what y'all got in the tackle box but for me it, when i'm fishing in the winter i like to use a, a half a, a quarter ounce or half ounce carolina rig with a 3.5 inch straight green worm okay if i could i would just wrap my fishing line around an mgd bottle and just toss it in there <laughs> but i've caught in a few nick cages doing that <laughs> I'm sorry I keep mentioning him, but I don't know. He's mesmerizing to me. That's true. Nick Cage is a legend. Let's be real. Anyone who disagrees with that clearly isn't a, f a real fish fan, okay? <laughs> Do you like fishing? Yeah. Uh, so how about Nick Cage's new movie, huh? <laughs> You like fishing? Oh, nice. So tell me who your favorite actor is and why is it Nick Cage? Okay. <laughs> so cool. What's your favorite Nick Cage film? I don't know. Probably Wicker Man, I guess. Isn't that one a pretty good one? Raising Arizona. Baby. Dude, Raising Arizona is actually probably my favorite Nick Cage movie, aside from <laughs> Face Off. When John Travolta plays Nick Cage playing John Travolta, dude, that's like. It was uh, it was next level. It was. I don't think. Yeah. I, I don't think we're still ready for that movie. <laughs> All right, we had a pretty good winter too. I have, I have literally, I don't, th I think I've only dropped one fish right now. I might have dropped two or three. Like this is going great right two. here. <laughs> Tetsuo catches the shrink wrap DVD of Snake Eyes. That's a big one. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Dude, Snake Eyes is Nicolas Cage's <laughs> most Nicolas Cage role. <laughs> like he literally just plays along with Louis Guzman. Louis Guzman plays basically Louis Guzman, dude. <laughs> dude, I want to watch that vampire movie with Nick Cage. I was watching some uh, clips of it. Oh on yeah, it dude. Great. Well, I forget what that movie's called. The one where he goes crazy all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. That's like the <laughs> ultimate. Maybe that's the ultimate Nick Cage film, to be honest. <laughs> He's just walking around the street. <laughs> ah! <laughs> the crazy, the Nick Cage crazy eyes, man. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, we got our day two winter in. Gonna go in, wait for me here. We just entered day two here. Nice. So I'm slightly, um, just a little day ahead here, but no, no big deal. Anything could happen. We could drop like four fish in a row. You never know what's gonna happen. I here. just dropped one. I said that. No, those. Is it Vampire's Kiss? Is that the film? Okay. Well, it looks like, looks like we know what the boys are watching next time. Is Vampire Kiss? Uh, let's see. We gotta see if we can get Pingto to get that on Laserdisc, because I'd really like to watch it in the best format available. Oh, man, I'm getting screwed here. I'm gonna re-enter. Oh no, are you getting wrecked? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes this game likes to be really mean. And uh, you gotta re-enter to reload like the fish zones. Yeah, some sort of 
manip, I guess you could call it. Yeah. Alright, well, for me, this is... It's got, it's got to be this card. I bought this card on eBay for about $263,000 complete in box. Well, I won by literally like 10 pounds. What the hell was that? I uh, dropped I... the fish, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, man. Where's another fish, dude? All right, oh, even I got though, the same one. Nice. Okay. Even though I'm in the lead, I did I, I did uh, only get second in one of the tournaments. So I'm in the championship round here. Championship round is gonna basically be the same spot as uh, spring. Uh, so we're basically gonna be going back to our spring spot, except now we have to fish for three days. The fish are gonna be in the same kind of spot as they were in spring. So nice and easy. Oh no! That's a big one. All right, all right. It's high stakes here in the Mark Davis, the fishing master world. As you can see, a, a hush kind of falls over us when we're really concentrating. We don't want to disturb the 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 fishes too much so you kind of got to be a little quiet oh i'm back i i had to use the restroom dude oh okay just jumping off jumping off the side just pulling the pants down off the side of the boat okay all right yeah i had uh, i had my son take over the controller here oh nice nice he's got this ethan coming in strong with the with the tying off tying the the mario hot wheels on the edge of the line <laughs> seeing if <laughs> seeing if he can get a, a seeing if he can get a lunker with the with the Mario Hot Wheels bait. I think there's a police song about that. <laughs> a Mario Kart in the water. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't remember. I dropped another fish. Who cares? I'm upset now. Oh no. <laughs> no. Are you still in winter? <laughs> no, Tetsuo. <laughs> <laughs> This this goes to show you the the brutal RNG, the unforgiveness on, that is man. Mark Davis is the fishing master. <laughs> oh, yeah, after Anna. Oh Have no. to do the minute again. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, I was trying to say. Uh... Hot Wheels in a bottle, yeah. Hot Wheels in a bottle. Hot, Hot yeah. Wheels in a bottle. Oh, I dropped a fish finally. Okay. Oh. You can right, see my water. Hot Wheels. Oh, no. All right. You can see my Hot Wheels. Hey, we won. All right. Nice. By a lot. Okay. Like eight pounds. Yeah, I won. I won mine by like eight pounds doing three three two. Winter two, it feels like it's a lot more viable to do three two two. Yeah, I think so too. Um, because that's what I did in my current in my current uh, in my current run. Winter one doesn't feel as consistent, but winter two definitely does. That's a big one. Do, 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 do. Oh no! Oh, no. We got one that broke the line. Now there is a three in sixteen chance that the fish breaks off the line when it's jumping out of the water. You have to let go of down while it's in the air, and it's a really quick reflex there. So sometimes when you're four or five MGDs deep, you just don't have the reflexes to deal with it. <laughs> I just imagine like being in a stupor, dude, just like <laughs> just cruising around in a lake, just like. Not knowing where you are. Oh yeah, dude. These empty casts are incredible. Okay, I got like four in a row. Nice. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. All right, we got our three for day two. We're gonna back on out and away in here. Okay. All right, all right. Now we gotta show off the fish back at the clubhouse. This is the hypest part of the run. We gotta and show off all three lunkers, man. 
They are all different, by the way. Yeah, they're all different, and if you can't tell the difference between these fish that I'm holding up, there's... You might want to, you know, do a little bit of soul-searching and really think about how you think about fish. You know, maybe go to the eye doctor. True, um, yeah. You know, or you could even, you, you could administer the, the test at your home. I've done that. I've written big letters on my wall. My wife was really mad. <laughs> and I was covering one eye. And I got it. Like, I, I nailed each one. <laughs> but I got, uh, I got a notice to leave the house. Read, so, read the third line down. Really yep. Uh, Lunker? Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Read the fourth line down. Oh yeah, is that say Bass Master? Okay, yeah, eyes are great, man. <laughs> She's like, you've been playing this game way too much. I'm like, excuse me. All right, I got, I got only one fish left here, and then we're gonna be seeing oh, dude, if we can win. You're flying, dude. Yeah, I'm in day two. We're on day three, last fish here. Just one more, and then we get to see if we win. Now, it's not guaranteed to win here. Uh, so, we really got to see. We really got to luck out. Going 3-3-3 three, three, three was, was what we decided to do. So, oh no, it's a dink! Oh no, I, I got a dink. I forgot to exit and come back in. No. Alright, we got to catch one more. That was it a happens. dink right there, folks. I almost did that earlier. That's a, as we call those, that's a, that's a dink. That's okay, a dink. we got we got a new one. We got another one. We're good. We're in there. Forgot to exit and come back in. All right, there's our big one. Dude, those were big fish. All right, I don't know if we're gonna win here. Our weight isn't looking too good. But this is it for me. We just got a little bit of uh, we got the clubhouse scene and we got the weigh-in, and we're gonna see if we get first or second here. Now, again, if this were a PB attempt for the leaderboard, we would be, I would already be disqualified, but since this is a marathon run, it's totally fine. But if I get second place in this, then, oh man, we gotta hope that, that Tetsuo really comes through. Don't count on it, man. And for me, oh, I won, okay. Nice, GG. It is time for me. And we get the big, the big trophy with the little baby hands. <laughs> I, I never noticed that. Dude, you gotta look at his hand holding up the trophy and see how little baby hand, look the little baby hand he has, man. Okay, it's just... It's just, oh, it's just ridiculous. Oh, dude, I just pulled up the stream. This background of Mark Davis, the fishing master background, is probably the best background. I, in the I entirety of the marathon, by the I way. I like how he's peeking over. Like, <laughs> he's just peeking. Hey, did I hear like... my name? What's going on? What's going on here? It looks like you are Mark Davis. Just because <laughs> it's right over Tetsuo. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh, yeah. And while, while Tetsuo is still working on it, again, guys, we... Uh, there is a, let me just do a, a couple shout outs here while Tetsuo kind of ropes in his last oh, yeah. lunkers. Uh, yeah, go for it. Big, big shout out to the BKKC. Uh, BKKC, big shout out, let's go. Big shout out to Squabbler and Squabbler's grandma who uh, had this game when he was a kid and he kind of showed us the truth of the steps of, uh, of a good spot. Squabbler's grandma coming in clutch. Yeah, shout out to Squabbler's grandma. Shout out to, to uh, Pinto, to Pile. Shout out to... Uh, don't touch the door. Shout out to Paintbrush Samurai, to Nest Seven or Nine, to Luxstein, to DNK Cafe. I'm, I'm trying to shout out everyone who has a run on the board, by the way. Um, Nest Seven or Nine, did you? Yeah, Nest him? Seven or Nine, oh, okay. the legend. Um, I probably might be forgetting a few people here. Uh, Pirate, Pirate Ghetto, Paintbrush yeah, Samurai. Paintbrush Samurai. TSF. Um, also, a uh, big shout out to Fred underscore underscore who uh, really uh, opened up the game and looked into the RAM, into the RAM value and uh, kind of helped us out with the lures and the fishing. Basically, all of our understanding of this game comes from uh, Fred's science, uh, which is, which is uh, you know, a big, big shout out to him for doing that. For um, sure. There are a lot of really good resources for this game for every category. Now, we did the longest category of the game. There's also a day one category. Um, GG, by the way. 
Thank you, sir. Thank very you. nice. There's there's a, there's a there's a day one category, which is only the first day. It's only about a minute and a half run. Uh, there is a championship category where uh, we only play. We we basically play as few tournaments as possible to 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 qualify for the championship. That's about a 12 minute run. And um, then there's this fishing master run, which is the the full the full game. And Tetsuo did win every tournament, and I didn't win. Uh, fall. So technically, the winner is Tatsuo. Yo, can we get the warden in here and escort this, <laughs> this, this man? It's like Dude, out of here. I really thought I was one of the cool kids, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get kicked out. Um, no, GG's, man. You did great. Yeah, that was that was really great. I think we shouted out. I shouted out everyone I wanted to shout out. So, anyone you want to shout out? Uh, I just want to say um, I am available on. Uh, on Twitch, you could whisper me if you have any questions about the speedrun. If you're interested, um, you could hit us each of us up in our uh, tw Twitch streams when you see us live. Um, you know, if you have any questions or if you just want to see us fish, um, I imagine Telia will be playing this quite a bit. Um, I will occasionally. But yeah, yeah, no, it's been fun. Always, always gonna be popping this on every once in a while for sure. It's one of the most ridiculous games that, that uh, I've had the pleasure of running and. It started out as kind of a joke, but the runs for the, every category in this game are really good. So it is no joke anymore. Um, but yeah, we're always looking for more for more runners for those of you who enjoy fishing games. It's a great game. It really is. Um, yeah, yeah, and also thank you Speed Gaming and uh, you know Feasel, you know everyone involved with uh, putting the Super SNES stars together. Oh, it's absolutely! Awesome seeing all these runners. Uh, you know collaborate yeah we really messed up too also big shout out to mark davis as well uh the, oh, le the legend him himself uh one of the first uh people to get well the first person to get angler of the year and Bassmaster of, uh, of the year uh what a legend uh well, that's it for that's it for for me i'm, I'm about good here yeah thanks everyone uh, i i got one more run later later tonight so you'll see me one more time but uh, everyone else yeah take care yeah, have a good day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Peace.